talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Psalms chapter 21. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit if there's anyone we need to be praying for speaking encouraging words to and or listening to just show us that person today father god we pray that you heal our bodies minds and spirits take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you we pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video this channel us our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge and discernment, to make the right choices and decisions today, Father God, not only for the betterment of us, but others as well. And we thank you for that. We pray, Father God, that for the safety of our cities and the people in them, we pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We pray that you guard and protect us and our vehicles, our loved ones and their vehicles, our leaders and their vehicles and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations just drive for us today father god send down the whole our guardian angels to protect us we thank you for them give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do send down the holy spirit to guide us into all truth today we plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray as we come to you in repentance, Father God, we ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and anyone listening today and any loved one who would like to accept you as their Lord and Savior today. We pray John 3:16 over you. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works, so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father God, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to get into prayer with you each and every day. That's just like what we're doing now, talking to you, listening for your voice and obeying what you tell us to do and help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free and show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here today. God brought you to this channel because he loves you so much that he sent his one and only begotten son to die for your sins. That's how much he loves you. Thank you, Father, for this person and everyone listening. I pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Psalms chapter 21. So if you have your Bibles and you like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Psalms chapter 21 and we'll get started. Thank you. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholden the request of his lips. Selah. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of thee and thou gavest it him even length of days for ever and ever his glory is great in thy salvation honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him for thou hast made him most blessed for ever thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance for the king trusteth in the lord and through the mercy of the most high he shall not be moved. Thy hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back, when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings, against the face of them be thou exalted lord in thine own strength so will we sing and praise thy power and that's the end of what the lord has to say about the book of psalms chapter 21 i hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today what we're doing as the Lord hath commanded is to spread the gospel to the world. So we're going chapter by chapter all the way from the beginning of the Bible until the end of the Bible. And just like our bodies need physical food to grow, sustain us and give us energy to flourish, our spirits need spiritual food, which is manna, which is the word of God to grow, to flourish and sustain us. And when we feed both our bodies and our spirits, both physical and spiritual food, we can feel healthy all around. And no matter what situations are brought into our life, we can know that God is in control of our lives and the power of life and death is in his hands. And as long as he gives us daily breath, he has a plan and a purpose for our life. And when the enemy tries to take you out, you can be rest assured that God is using you in big and mighty ways. And otherwise, the enemy won't be trying to kill, steal, and destroy you. And that's what he does to the chosen ones and the ones that want to serve God. He tries to kill, steal, and destroy them and take them out before they can accomplish God's will for their life. But ultimately, God is still in control, even over that. And if there's still someone that you need to reach out to, um, God will still have you there for that person. Because he looks at everything when he um, decides on situations. He looks at the people you're going to impact and the people he's going to use you to bring to draw closer to him. And if you have fulfilled your mission on life, then you can know that you're going to go to a better place and that's in heaven with the lord but until then there's still work to do all right and until next time bye